Let me show you what this bad boy can do. All right, welcome to another episode of Titanium Man Garage. And today I got a treat for you because I've had a couple subscribers ask this question. Why does your machine bog down with the airbox on, but it runs good without the airbox? So I'm going to show you what this does with the airbox on. I put an aftermarket carb on. So we're going to figure out what's going on, whether it's the uh, valves that need to get adjusted, timing's on, we already double checked that so that's good. So it being a China aftermarket carb, I'm thinking the fuel mixture screw might need to get adjusted or just throw that junk carb away and uh, I got my friend Travis over here rebuilding a Bakuni carb. <laughs> so we're going to adjust the air fuel mixture screw which is on the bottom of this carb right here but I'll show you how I do it on the machine so I just in the hose clamp if you want to get down here and then I can get in here and I'll turn it all the way in until it's flush until it's the seats and then I'll count all oh, two and a half turns oh my that was out like four turns Maybe that's why it uh, is doing like crap. So what I like to do is I take a marker so I know where I'm flat and it started. I need a flashlight. It's on another angle here. Right, so that's my mark where the thing in the screw is and I'll count that out two and a half turns. There's half. One half. Two. Two and a half. And ideally you want to run this thing and try to adjust it at the same time if you can, but the engine gets hot. So. I'm going to tighten the uh, carburetor clamp down. I'm going to stay back in. The air box back on. Again, are we? Uh, I think I'm gonna try the Makuni okay. carb. Alright, um. right there. Looking for the. Perfect 
this check from? That's from the thing I want. Oh, oh. Fuck. Really? I don't know. Probably from China. Made of that fantastic Chineseium. <laughs> Where's all the throttle stuff? Right, you want to do that part? Sure. Yeah. You seem to be better at it than I am. Oh, you're also old and blind. <laughs> <laughs> all right. How's that feel up here? Too much play. So I'm going to back this off. These older carbs actually had an adjustment nut on there. Oh, I have one. Where'd it go? All right, so we've got the timing set. All right, we pulled the rocker cover off, check the cam, check the valve adjustment. It was spot on. Clean the carb. Like I showed you in the video before, it would puke out without, well, with the air box on. Um, with these CV carbs, ugh, I tell you, I do not like these carbs. These depend on airflow. So it'll run great without the air box, but once you put the air box on, you'll come into problems. Uh, air, uh, the air box isn't sealed off completely. If you've got, say you got a little of this foam stuck in your, your vent tube, that'll block off airflow. Let me show you what happened. So this air box, all the tabs were broken off for the cover. And when I started up last night, I thought, all right, let me take the dirty air filter off and let's run it with the cover on. And I pushed hard on the cover. And guess what? It ran great. So I had an idea. I swapped out the air box. I think this is actually from I want to say a 2001, 2002 style. The snorkel that comes up this way instead of that, that tube that comes up here. And watch this. Now this thing does need a clutch, it's banging away, so bear with me. Runs excellent now. Just did a couple burnouts in the parking lot there. Yeah, right. <laughs> and like I said, with these uh, CV carbs, it all depends on your fuel air mixture. If that isn't perfect, this thing will run like crap. You might be scratching your head wondering what the heck. There is the, the air fuel mixture screw at the bottom of the carb. Make sure that's adjusted correctly because that'll throw you off. Like I said, all I did was swap out the air box. Everything's sealed tight now. Actually has a decent snorkel coming up the top instead of that goofy one coming out the side like the, uh, what is this, a 97 has. I didn't really care for that style. So here you have it, folks. Runs good with the air box off. Runs like crap with the air box on. Here's your fix. So, just need a sealed air box. Now, what you could do, and I've done this before, if you didn't want to spend the money on an air box, make sure this is cleaned out really good. Put a brand new air filter on, put the cover on, and you can actually use like um, some kind of caulk or sealer. Pull that down, put some tire wraps around it, make sure it's sealed off tight, 
um, anything silicone, whatever. Yeah, it'll be a pain when you gotta replace your filter, but that could save you some money and cure your problem. I've also, you know, if this wasn't all chunked out like this, this piece is missing. I've also tucked in just wood screws and I was able to, to screw right into there. All right guys, hope this video helped. I know a couple of you guys uh, threw that question at me. Hey, why does my Polaris run like crap with the cover on? Here you go. All right, hit the thumbs up if you like the video and like always, till next time.